just waiting for some more people to log on. <coughs> Hello, Arena. Beautiful day. <clears throat> the rhododendrons are out. Hey, welcome to the welcome to the, the tour of Borrowsley, part of the Healing Awareness Week. Standing outside this magnificent country house that was built by Arthur Clay in the 19th century. It's really, it's really beautiful if you look at it now. And just walking towards there. This port is the entrance. This is all original. Just, it's just open for healing appointments at the moment. You come into the reception. We've got a different receptionist here. It's Jean Hill. We have the lovely Jean. Good afternoon, Jean. Good afternoon. She's stepping in reception for me while I yes. become well, editor today. Well, she's well, uh, well, acting as director. <laughs> The lovely panelling that's around here. The beautiful fire, the lovely artifacts collected by Harry over the years. Really beautiful. And of course, the maps which Harry brought back from Persia during the First World War, or after the First World War. And this leads through into. the telephone healing area. At the moment, we're using it for telephone healing appointments, but in Harry's day, he would answer all the letters himself. Using the tips of phones that we have here. So he'd record the, the replies to give to his secretaries to send the replies back. Yes. There's a picture of Harry with his dictaphone, as he was in the day. Through now. A lovely picture of Harry Edwards there, welcoming people for healing, and the presentation that he was given by the NFSH on his birthday in 1963. And then the picture, welcoming people for healing, such a familiar pose, and that screen that's behind Harry in the the photograph is still in the sanctuary now. Sure so in the chapel today. And you'll recognise that stall when we go in there as well. A lot of healing from that photograph. Mm. Right, stand up. Um, I did mention earlier that the, um, the dog here was used by Harry Edwards to signal that we need a healing minute and it's still kept in its original place. So in his day he'd do that and 
everybody will stop work, wouldn't they? All the secretaries, everybody will stop for a minute. Right. Considering that this is the staircase, we're going to have Gary, we've got the pictures. Up here, you can, you can see the picture. windows there that show the lovely view. Someone said they couldn't hear you and just take that off to make it feel that's better. Mm. The lovely monkey puzzle tree up there. This door here is closed because it's our very busy events office. The ladies are working at the moment. Our lovely rooms are en suite. It can be double or twin. This is a room at the front of the house, so we're just looking out onto the car park. But the ones at the back have got fabulous views. Reg, no, <laughs> okay, nobody saw a Reg on the bed there. Let's <laughs> all so keep that to ourselves. <laughs> right, coming through here. Got the brazier room, and then how it would stay, this was used as his lounge. And after his time, the, when the branches were here, they used it as well. Now, as you can see by those different boards, it's used as a conference room. But again, you've got these lovely pictures, lovely views, these lovely windows. Every, these, these, these lovely views. Lovely fireplace again. This is Harry in his younger days. Philippa, do come and stay. We have retreats. I'll just put a comment. We can't go out without showing you the view. Got the marquee up at the moment. That's stayed up this year. The fields you can see ahead of us, Harry used to own all them as well, but he sold them to the farm. Reggie just taking a look at the view. <laughs> Come on. So this room's now uh, like yeah. our conference room. This is our um, conference room. Also this room during Harry's time had a small fire in it, but a television caught fire. As yeah. you can see, it's all been restored. Here. 
So this is the first floor. We've got three bedrooms on this floor. And then there's three bedrooms on the next floor. And this is a very special room. This, this is, is room one, Harry's yeah, room. This is Harry's room. And again, you have that beautiful outlook from there. It's a, it's a beautiful room. And in his day, he had a lift which would connect directly with the room below it, where the cyclists were. It's now a wardrobe. That's where the lift was. That's right. Imagine waking up to this view every day. Jacqueline just said, I will come on a retreat. Yes, you must. <laughs> Just going to look out Harry's other window. Can you see that little that dragon on the top there? Just keep an eye on things. <laughs> I don't know if anyone knows what the um, history is of that dragon. I don't think we've got any information. If you look down there, a little lean to at the end, that's now our laundry. But in Harry's day, he used to keep monkeys there. Uh, Tessa, yeah, we have got some retreats going ahead in July now. That's the first one. Oh yeah, it's for you as well, Jackie. The retreat's going to be in July. A little while ago, I had to go to Alison and Winnie. And here's Alison. Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for joining us. And now look at this fantastic view. This lucky lady gets to sit in here every day. Yeah. How would you get any work done? <laughs> Try very hard not to drop the phone. Isn't this amazing? You can see for miles. It's very calming and relaxing. Yeah. I forgot, is that Lawnbrook? I can't remember what that's called, that farm over there. I'm not sure, to be honest. It's like I said earlier, it's all part of the healing experience. Uh, Keith's asking when the house is open again. We haven't got a date yet, Keith. We're just open for appointments at the moment. Hopefully not too long. <laughs> Valerie, you just said this is where we had our fabulous dog day. Absolutely. We had a, a dog show out there on the lawn. And when it's possible to do so, we very much want to do that again. We will. I think I'd just stay here all day. I'm sure everybody will love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a beautiful outlook, that's why I wanted to come into this room. We hear the birds. Yeah, we could stay here all day, but I guess we'd better get on. <laughs> <laughs> right. Thank you for letting us interrupt you, Alison. Yes, thank you, Alison. You can go and do it now. Yeah, as you were. <laughs> right. After we've disturbed Alison, let's go down the stairs here. Danny 
these creaky stairs. Oh, and this here would have been the dumb waiter in Harry's in Harry's day. I can imagine it being a bit like Downton Abbey. Downton Abbey's reference. <laughs> you got the all, the all the bells when the bells were rung. It was sig the signal which room the bell was being rung in. And then down there, we've got information about the stopcocks, but it's from 1936. <laughs> it's still here. And it's still on the wall. Fabulous. Yes, as, as Rowena said, he bought the house in 1946 and he paid £8,000 for it. Yeah. You... He paid £8,000 for it, beating the, beating down to £11,000, that was the Elton price. So just pop out this back door. Here's the back lawn. And there's that place I told you where the monkeys were. We had a visitor once who told me he brought his daughter in to see Harry. And Harry said that the daughter could name one of the monkeys. So every time she came, she could go and feed him. <laughs> we nearly caught him. That was our maintenance guy, Steve, waving. It's on the latch because Reggie's gone out there. This is a bit of a sad connection because this was the room Harry was working in, reading letters uh, when he passed in 76. But it still has a lovely energy in here. So apparently he was sitting at his desk with this view and he said he wouldn't go to bed until he finished his letters. And then he died peacefully, peacefully in here. There's an old picture here of Shear, which is the village around the corner, which is very beautiful and been used in many films. So now this is used as like a tea and coffee room, isn't it? When we have retreats. Yes, yeah. Another fireplace. Most of the rooms have got fireplaces. They really are stunning. Right. Coming out of here. Through there we have our huge big industrial kitchen which we won't go into today. Ooh. The door. And back through here. Now this room, which is now the dining room. What we're back, sorry, we lost connection for a minute. Okay. They've oversee how he's lived to the books and uh, they tuck them out for him. And up here, we're just underneath his bedroom now, and you can see on oh, the ceiling there where the lift was. There's a faint square on the ceiling. I don't know if you can see it on the phone. So the lift would come down into this, which was the typist room. And many years ago when I was working, I kept getting the smell of um, a floral smell. And everybody who came in reception kept commenting on it, saying, are you wearing perfume? Are there any flowers? And it was only when I asked Gary, who um, sadly passed away a few years ago, he was working here, but his mum, Lynn, was one of the typists. Yeah. 
And he told me that um, Harry would come down in the lift into this room and waft through and leave a lovely smell of floral bath salts. And one of Lucy's paintings there. Beautiful bluebells. As lovely stuff as we have at the moment. Back through reception. Jean being very busy at reception. And through into the lounge. And here you've got the tapestry completed by his sister. There's such a lot of work in there. Sister Ivy. How many hours did it take to do all those stitches? <laughs> yes, Reggie is on a mission, Valerie. <laughs> and next to that, you have that screen plate of a dragon that was given as a present on his birthday to Harry Edwards. That was given by his daughter, Felicity. Beautiful. So for this entire thing on this house, and the grounds only paid eight thousand pounds, but eight thousand pounds was a lot of money at that time. And although some other people came in with him to and sold their properties, he practically cleaned them out. <laughs> so that's, that's one of the reasons why things don't match. I just want to show you this little clock because very occasionally it doesn't work. But every now and then it chimes. <laughs> well, that's a sign off. Maybe Harry's around. <laughs> Wood carved table. And again, you've got lovely views outside. Well, it's just outside because you've got the marquee there, which tends to block the view. Anyway, through here, you have the sun lounge. The details of our new labyrinth, which was created for our 75th anniversary. That's in the garden, so when you come to visit, do go and see it. That's right, that's in the meditation mode. And a few other bits of the of, of sculpting that were here when our Edwards came, left by the sculptor that owned the house before then. I've actually had, I've got a picture of that gallery with a real live butterfly in her hands. Yeah. Landed there. Yes. Right, and the picture there, very sad at the moment, especially as we're coming out of COVID now, picture of Bobby Ball. They, they did some filming here for a, a short film. Cockfields, it's called. So no, this no tour of the sanctuary was complete without looking at the, the chapel, but must we mention this huge picture window again? And in Harry's day, this would be completely different. There'd be tables, there'd be tables along here, there'd be beautiful, um, beautiful flowers all around. And of course, he, he liked the cactuses because he was very fond of cactuses. And you have a photo there of what the sanctuary was, what that walkway was like in Harry Edwards' day. And when his daughter Felicity tried her hand at automatic writing, the first attempt was only a signature of Harry, but then after a time she got all of this. Got the glare on there. In the morning I will meet you, I will greet you, and we will go to a time where many days and many nights will come, tranquil and warm. We will go along towards many thoughts away, and you will calm your mind and learn where everything is slow, 
for the mornings in this other land are so long. I will help you to have being with a different tide and a different wind. You will find a season of cool and calm. Far, I promise. Far, I promise you. I promise you that here the sky is always very gentle. Keep me close by, remembering many summers. Remember always the flowers and anything bringing memories of me. Come to me, enjoy the way, open to you. And Felicity had having, Felicity had, uh, uh, embroidered that herself and gave it as a gift to me for the century. So, we put that up here. A beautiful study of Harry Nicholas, beautiful picture. And we were reading, reading, reading letters in here, looking at that picture. It gives you so much, gives you so much calm and so much thought. This time, poems of Harry. And the distant healing folder, which I mention every day during the healing minutes. And then you have the healing hands. These were done in 1973. And this candle stand, this was a gift to Harry. He received many gifts. Cherry Tree Walk was a gift. And there's many of them throughout the sanctuary. And of course, Harry's chair, which he had. I wonder how many healings he did in there. Mm. <laughs> when you come for healing today, you would be shown to one of our healing rooms. But in Harry Edwards' day, it was very different. You would meet in the Sun Lounge, come into here, and the chairs down there would be arranged in a semicircle, and you'd sit in there, and one by one, you would come up and you'd sit in front of the great healer. How wonderful to have any form of illness and to know that you're going to be meeting Harry Edwards. And there's a screen, which was in the photograph which we saw earlier. It's a beautiful screen, it's inlaid with ivory. Lovely piece. And these stained glass windows up here were from his sister's sanctuary. And when, his, when that was bought by a compulsory purchase order, she gave the windows to Harry. It's within his sanctuary. They're wonderful. And of course, there's more of a quiet and calm in here, but that back window there, the hands are feeling and punch the world. It's so lovely. It's a sanctuary symbol again. Mm. The cross surrounded by the circle. Although it's blue in that one, normally you have to look at the golden cross there by the golden circle. It used to be it used to be on the front of the house. You can't see it today, Gary, but in the, um, when the sun shines and there's a shadow, you can see the actual G-O-D. <laughs> Looks like God. Okay. Okay. I'll close it now. Now... Leading with the way through. And all these 
those corridors. Let's have a quick look at the rose garden. The pond's rose just being refurbished. When, when all the work is done, the rose garden will be beautiful. Every time I, I look at it, it's, there's more work that's being done, and there's, and it's just looking wonderful. You've got the plinth in the middle where the statue stood, and that statue is being moved to the end where the the fountain was. In fact, they're being changed over. Although there is going to be some sort of water feature there, because so many people have commented that they that they like the sound of water. Sorry, Reg. <laughs> right, round here. Just one of our healing rooms. That's right, one of the uh, two healing rooms. This one, the Nicholson room, but it's popularly called the Green Room. You've got lovely healing that's been done here. You've got that wonderful view of the Rose Garden and beyond. And it's really beautiful to look at. On the wall here, you've got a picture. You've got Ray Branch at the end there, and the lady that he's giving healing to is the mother-in-law of Jean Hill, who we met earlier on reception. So it's Ray Branch, Jean Hill, Olive Burton, Harriet Woods, George. and George Burton. <laughs> Oh, there's the shield. There's the shield again. <laughs> the screen again. Um, and the screen again, <laughs> and the picture above it of the the golden cross and the, the light, which used to formerly hang in the uh, Nicholson room. And then down here, we have a room which is used at the moment for bluebells cancer support. Formerly, before, even before Harry Edwards' time, there was a sculptor living here, a sculptor who did those works we saw in the, in the Sun Lounge. And he, he would use this as his studio, and this would connect with the room above it because the ceiling above me is false. This would connect with the room above it by a circular stone staircase. This is also used by the Harry Edwards College, and also you have this large library of spiritual books. Going back a few years, it was also used as a nursery. But in Harry's day, but in Harry's Harry's day, it was the um, bat, uh, indoor bat, badminton. Badminton court, yeah. And that's what the badminton court said. So the tea dancers. Oh yes, they made the, tea dancers here as well. Also, of dramatics. Many uses. But the connection. And leads out into a viewing platform. So, remembering that room downstairs, this would lift right the way up to, to the ceiling. Beautiful room. It's now. Computers and modern technology allow us to take healing requests from around the world. So all the letters are answered here. And as you can see, we've got lots of pictures of animals. We do lots of animal healing. Let's have a quick look outside. All the letters are read Beautiful bluebells. and signed by a healer. And then they're brought back up to here for the replies. Take you out the fire exit, just so you can see the bluebells. Looking beautiful at the so moment. So beautiful, so calm.
calm and the bird song. It's really what healing's all about. It's still one for all these years later. And this, this year is our 75th anniversary. So thank you for joining us and enjoy the rest of your day. Goodbye. Come and visit our ground soon. <laughs> Show them the bluebells. I'll just walk a little bit further. We might lose connection, but I'd just like to show you the bluebells. So do come and visit us, the grounds are open and we are doing our picnic promotions now where you can come and have a two hour slot and receive a limited edition mug and tea towel. And what better place to have a tea towel? Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you for watching us, guys. Thank you for joining us.